Thoracic mobility series is going to be a combination of shoulder external rotation with thoracic extension, okay? So you will need some kind of dowel for this one. You can use a PVC pipe, you can use a broomstick, a golf club, whatever you have lying around, and then you will need some kind of surface, box bench, you can use a couch, whatever you have, okay? So what you're gonna do is put your elbows up on the box like this, and then you're gonna move your hands wider than your elbows, right? So you're in this kind of position. That's the external rotation component. Okay, so you're gonna move your hands out, and then from here, you're gonna back up enough so that you can extend down, push your face down towards the box or bench, and extend your spine into this, okay? So you can hold it, or you can kinda come up and down, and make sure you're extending and feeling that good stretch or pressure right in that mid-back position. This exercise can be done in different ways for different things, but for this purpose um, of improving that thoracic extension for your overhead mobility, this is the best. This next video series is going to be front rack mobility drills. Okay, so these are gonna help you get into that good front rack position for front squatting or um, cleaning for Olympic lifting. Okay, so this first exercise is going to be a external rotation combined with um, a lat stretch, right? So the thing that prevents the front rack most of the time is tight lats. Okay, so what we're gonna do is stretch those. So you're going to get yourself in, um, you can use a PVC pipe or you can use a broomstick or a golf club or anything that you have that's just a long, narrow stick. Stick your elbows up on a box bench, couch, whatever you got. You're gonna move your hands out wider than your um, elbows, right? So you wanna get in that extra rotation position. Rest them up on that box. And then you're gonna round your back and just push straight down until you feel that stretch in your lats, okay? You wanna round your back so that you're not making this a thoracic mobility drill and you're focusing more on that lat stretch. This exercise for our front rack mobility drills is going to be an eccentric chin up, okay? So you're going to turn your hands um, under hand grip. You're gonna use a bar, right? Yasmin here is gonna show us. You can also use a band, right? So this one can be really hard for a lot of people. So you can do this band technique so that you can actually control that lengthening phase of those lats, which is what we need to get into that front rack position. Um, and you're not just dropping down because you don't have the strength yet, okay? So what you're gonna do is jump your chin up over the bar. Yep, <laughs> control that swing. And then slowly lower yourself down so that you're lengthening those lats and getting yourself that necessary mobility to get up into that good front rack position. Yep, so up and then slowly lowering down, nice and controlled. Okay, the next exercise in our front rack mobility series in order to get yourself into that good front rack position so you can squat and clean is going to be a wall slide, okay? You can do this standing or seated. Um, you can do facing, the wall, facing away from the wall like this. So you're gonna stick your elbows up on the wall like this. You wanna keep your elbows and the backs of your hands and fingers attached to the wall. And then what you're gonna do is start with your elbows, your elbows down, and then you're gonna slide up the wall, maintaining the um, pressure onto the wall the whole time. Woo, you're gonna feel that tightness as you get up to the top, and then contract your lats and squeeze back down. Okay, so this is a really good way to get that mobility in those lats through that full range so that when you do go to load weight up into that front rack position, you're not all stuck. Front rack mobility series is going to be sitting at the bottom of your squat and attempting to press some weight overhead. So the point of this exercise is to try to mimic the position that you need to hold um, with your upper back and your lats in order to maintain that front rack position with weight, right? So if you're trying to um, do a front rack weight and you're not able to keep that thoracic mobility up nice and tall, then you're gonna fall forward, okay? So here's how we do it. Get into the bottom of your squat. This is a tough one, I'm warning you. Bottom of your squat, you wanna keep those heels on the ground, okay? Don't let this happen. Heels down, get yourself a weight. I'm using 10 pounds. And you're going to press it straight up overhead and then bring it back down. Okay, so you, wanna feel, you will feel that in your mid-back a little bit, maybe a little bit in your lats. And if you can't do this, then you might have trouble with that front rack position as well. Last exercise in our front rack mobility series is going to be a full grip front rack hold, right? The only way that you're actually gonna get better at this front rack position is to expose yourself in that position, right? And so by doing a full grip, that's gonna make it even harder. So if you can hold the bar up in that front rack with a full grip hold, then you can definitely do it with like two, three, or a couple fingers, okay? So what you're gonna do is take a full grip on the bar, get underneath, get up into that front rack, keep your full grip around it, stand up, get a little weight on your bar to make it realistic, right? 
and then just hold in this position, right? You can hold for 30 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever feels good for you. And again, if you can do this, then you can definitely do this, okay? So you wanna expose yourself in that harder position so that when you do go to add more weight and squat and clean, um, the finger grip hold feels like nothing. <laughs> 